welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Today I wanted to show you that um, about my starter that I just made. Uh, this is for daily bread or uh, once a week, whatever, however often you want to make bread. This is a sourdough starter. It's one of the most ancient sourdough starters. For thousands of years they've been making sourdough starter this way. And it's just all-purpose flour. Whatever container you use, however much you need, you put one half container of flour and then half a container of um, water and you stir it up real well it makes like a slurry and you just cover it with cheesecloth and a rubber band I don't have rubber bands so I use yarn uh, and then uh, you just let it set for two or three days until it starts getting bubbly when it starts getting bubbly you know that it's uh, active yeast this way they never have to buy yeast and this is the way they used to make sourdough bread with just the natural yeast now what you do when you're making your bread you get your flour and your water and a pinch of salt and that's basically all they ever used and then you pour uh, most of this into it you want to save about a quarter cup or a couple tablespoons it's just enough to start another live culture so they would put this in with their flour and their um, salt and then add water to make the dough the consistency they wanted to and then with the rest of this they would just add more half and half flour and water to the quarter cup or whatever amount they left in here and that will start the other uh, flour and water fermenting to make another sourdough and you just cover it and let it set another two or three days so you get this started you will never have to buy yeast again because there's natural yeast in the air wherever you are and depending on where you are it will be the flavor of your uh, sourdough so I think I have done a video about this before but it's, if so it's been a long time and I was doing it today so I just thought I would share with you um, my um, little recipe about the ancient sourdough starter there are several more ancient sourdough starters that they used the wild grapes and different things and uh, I think I've shared that before also but this is a really needful thing on the homestead if you make bread even just once a week this is a great thing to do if you want sourdough bread now if you do not want sourdough bread all you have to do is put your flour and your water and your salt and uh, make it uh, a dough and then let it rise and form your loaves and let it rise again and bake them but this is our dough starter today so I hope you've enjoyed it if you do like share comment and until next time this is homesteading the pioneer way saying keep homesteading